wildlife ponds like these are a fantastic ecological resource. And I'm really pleased that we've got this here for you to come and enjoy at Plain Country Park. You will notice lots and lots of reeds and the big fluffy heads of the bulrushes. And then your eye is drawn down to the water and all year round except the coldest months you'll see pond skaters. They are called pond skaters because they zoom about on top of the water and they don't sink. Underneath the surface of the water are the things that like to eat pond skaters, such as back swimmers. And they're called back swimmers because they lie on their backs with their mouth parts facing up and they lie nice and still until a pond skater comes along and wham, he grabs it and eats it. In February or March, you might notice there's crows and herons hanging about the pond. This is a clue that the frogs have come back off dry land where they spend all year and they've come back to the pond and make balls and balls the size of tennis balls of frog spawn. Tadpoles will emerge from the spawn around April or May. Throughout the rest of the year, the tadpoles become frogs with their back legs appearing first and the front legs fall. So here we are in Clean Country Park. The idea is to walk to a place called Torwood where there's a blue pool. It's a man-made pool. There's maybe turquoise in colour, it's maybe pretty, pretty cool. It's about a third or fourth try time that I've tried to find it. So I decided what I was going to do today is park somewhere I knew. We did, uh, we did one of those silent videos or no talking videos on the module fullness uh, playlist um, at this place before and it's only about two or three miles to the blue pond from here so let's crack on and see if the day can be the day when we find it so since we're here a little rundown of clean country park it's divided between parklands and woodlands and it's owned by sterling council uh, at Clean Country Park you have a network of paths which are good for walking, cycling and right on cue, horse riding. Jobbies. So originally it was a pit, as in a mining pit. In January of 1963 the pit was closed. Uh, it was last, last used, 1963. And after years of being left derelict, being neglected, um, British call. So they handed over the derelict plain house and the 190 acres of land to Stirling Council. The paths and the main drive, drive sorry, were completely overgrown when the work started on the park in 1987. The area has now been transformed into a 200 acre of woodland and parklands. It's pretty cool to be honest. Right, well this is us coming out of uh, Plain Country Park. And we're coming up here and turning right. Yeah, this is a nice, nice quaint little bit as well, isn't it? Nice. It's a bit of countryside. That's two really good efforts at completing roads there, eh? <laughs> what is going on with that? Tor, tor, burn. It's the burn of the tor, torn woods. This area we're now coming into. Here's an interesting point. The village of actual tor woods down that way. However, there's a trail that goes through the tor wood. Not the tall wood joined together word, the tall wood. I think that's the route we're going to take.
Google Maps didn't like it. That's what we, uh, that's what we used today actually, it was the Google, <laughs> just a standard book, standard Google Maps. Uh, mainly because both all trails and the hiker app what I use didn't actually find anything on there. So, yeah, good old Google Maps it is. This could potentially be quite an interesting find. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? That would be. If someone didn't dump a load of uh, tyres in and debris. I'll show you the view from the other side. Oh, shame that. Uh, that's actually a natural, uh, well, it's not natural because it's man made. It's been an absolute haven for wildlife. And there's a million and one tyres dumped in it. Yeah. That don't sit very well, does it? Yeah, I'm pretty glad I put the hiking boots on. Although I did have the option to stay on the boat, didn't I? So, yeah. You make choices. Sometimes you just got to stick with what you've made, don't you? Be prepared. Made a bit of gain there actually. Up the hill. Heading on. I'm gonna keep going that way, I think. I should eventually meet a path goes that way and we go and visit the uh there's an old castle. I go and visit the ruins of that first before we get onto the blue pond. Yeah, train like this. The obvious thing to watch out for is ticks. Long grass, scuffing along. Ah. The bracken as well. You yeah. <laughs> got a good chance of having an adder. Someone wants to mix as well. Probably a little bit too cool for them to be out right enough. Although I'm a little bit on the sweaty side. <laughs> So maybe it's not too cool. Yeah, ticks becoming more and more of a problem actually in the UK. Oh Christ. Yeah, this <laughs> might not have been the cleverest of moves. Let's go this way. Yeah, I'd suggest we're probably are in snakes and creepy crawly territory now, aren't we? There's a the path. Straight ahead. Brush myself down <laughs> and move on. Whew. I'll tell you what. Actually dripping sweat. It's got really hot all of a sudden. Well, the weather changed in the UK, innit? Definitely is. Look at that. The clouds are getting darker and darker. Clammy, hot, constantly, and it interrupts myself there because well, this looks like a little cool find. A little oak swing. I thought that was actually a cave, it's not, it's just a. Uh, over a little bit over hang on there. Oh someone's had a bob <laughs> some sort of fire there, that's why it's all blackened in. Yeah. Not great again is it but not a lot of well, I don't know, there's no fire there. I say not a lot of damage but being this hot back in smokes definitely burns. This is all dry. Yeah, you can see yourself in trouble. It's a bit stupid actually, isn't it? You think about it. Start a fire there, set that to a light. 
I bit of trouble where you run into. Let alone where all the wildlife's run into as well. <sighs> Idiots. Just enjoy the outdoors without ruining it, eh? Right, it's a good chance we carry on this path. We'll be hitting the point we need to be hitting to get to the castle. On we go. I think we might be on the path. What's this, my larky? Do we trust that? Yeah, don't know. Might not scan that one. <laughs> Do you know what? I keep finding these little things. So many of them. I'm actually going to scan one, see what happens. Let's put a virus on the phone. It finds nothing. It doesn't work. Oh well. Never mind what that was then. Ooh. Actually, do mind what it is because that's actually doing my nut. Larbert area wood. Ah. Wonder that's Twitter or X. Or Instagram. Larbert area woodland network. There you go. Go and Google that someone. Well, I did Google it. I'm the someone. <laughs> so, Larbert Woods. I don't know if that's where we are. I thought we were in Torwood. It says we're in Torwood. Anyway. There's three easy trails, waving amongst mature trees and circling through picturesque little lock. That's at the Fourth Valley. That's a different walk. So... Yeah. I saw none the wiser what that. Larbert Area Woodland Network. Yeah, anyone's got any info on that? Let us know. Because I'm clueless. I found nothing. Right. Now if Google Maps don't stitch me up, we're right where we want to be. Right where we want to be. And it should be a case of heading down this path and we should be right where the castle is. Might actually be in someone's house. A strange cell. There's tents and all sorts there. What is this place?
an old VW Paul. My original plan, my original plan was to go and have a little look around it, maybe get a drone up, fly a drone around. But, uh, I don't know, it's a weird place like getting, getting like Charles Manson kind of courty vibes going on. I don't know, oh, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, um. Cross over that to begin with. Is it a hippie community? I don't, I don't know. I would have showed you this with it. <laughs> Full castle and at your own risk. Oh, no, so as a joker, you're actually going to be chopped up in it. That's really weird. That's a really, really weird place. I don't know people were like just whacked up a tent and, and stuff in there or they're paying to be there or I don't know <laughs> that was really bizarre um yeah don't really fancy hanging around there much Right, I suppose we better tell you some information about it, though, eh? So, Tour de Castle is the ruins of a 16th century Alplane, Alplane Castle near the village of Torwood in the Falkirk Council. So, before we was in Stirlingshire, uh, in Plain Country Park, getting to Torwood and the Torwood Castle is in Falkirk Council. So, we've been in two different counties. Designated as a Category A listed building in 1979. Buildings at risk registered for Scotland. Let's click on that, I don't know what that means. The buildings at risk register for Scotland. Records buildings of natural architecture or historic interest which are considered to be under threat. Yeah, it's probably under threat because you've got Charles Manton and his mates living in there. Oh, really? It's like dudes again. I wonder if that dude's got anything to do with those dudes. And if it is, maybe stay away from those dudes. Oh, nearly fell over. That would have been karma actually for being nasty. Live and let live. In all fairness, actually, to be fair. That would be a cool little spot to live, wouldn't it? The ruins are creepy as, but yeah, why not? Self efficient to a point. Well, maybe not actually, got a few cows. So fresh oranges and stuff, I didn't. I don't know. Really do not know. I tell you what's weird now, I'm talking about them being creepy and I'm actually stood the other side of a woods talking about them. That's pretty creepy in itself, isn't it? Right, let's just move on and find this blue pond, shall we? But this is where they've had all the bodies. Manson and his mates. Back to topic. We're now about five minutes, or well, probably about 30 seconds for you guys away from the blue pool. Right, well, apparently I've arrived. Google, why have you forsaken me? Well, it's got a beer around here somewhere, isn't it? Let's go on a, let's go on a hunt.
I tell you what, I don't know, we're a family of ticks living in me by the end of this trail. Uh, ah, hang on. This looks promising. I can go around here somewhere. Is this far off the road? Off the path? Ooh. Google lied to me, but seems to be back in the game now. Aha! The blue ball, we found it! It's here! It is quite shit. Yeah. So what are you going for? All this way. To be fair, it's quite a nice, weird, turquoisey colour. Um, I quite like my GoPro, so I'm not going to stick my GoPro in the water and tell you what's on the leaf because uh, it might not come back. Yeah, the blue pool. Get a picture for Instagram, shall we? So I was just reading up some information about it here. Um, 20 feet in diameter. Yeah. Yeah, probably. And 15 feet deep. 15 feet. Quite deep, eh? Don't know how I built it or why it's here. But yeah, here it is, the blue pool. Off toward. So in summary, has it been worth it? Yeah. You know what? Someone's come to the effort, or some people come to the effort to build that. For what ends? I don't know. But it is pretty smart. It is pretty smart. And the turquoise colour. Why is it turquoise? I have no, absolutely no idea. No idea whatsoever. But it's a cool little mystery to end the video on. And the little community up there, whatever was going on, you know what? I was taking a piss. That's pretty smart. People living out, living, living their best life They're outdoors. They might be permanent residents, they might not. Might just be camping overnight. Might just have the caravans and what have you up overnight um yeah brilliant it's good channel's all about getting outdoors living their best life aren't they you know too quick to judge half the time aren't we so yeah it's been an enjoyable walk it's a bit more of a I'm going to pick myself a lot here, I know, but it's a bit more of a outdoorsy video this time. I've done a lot on the Bromans um, the last few videos, we're going to continue doing that. You get further south in the next couple of months and get some more on the Romans. If you're interested in that, um, obviously keep watching. You guys who like the outdoorsy stuff and the walking, the bread and butter of this channel if you like. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time.